Two of my favorite things are video games and music. So naturally, video game music is one of my favorite things. Given the amount of time I've been stuck inside with everything going on in the world, listening to my favorite video game soundtracks is something I've been doing a lot of. So I figured why not share my top 10 favorite songs from video games. Just a couple rules before we get started, no licensed tracks that were not specifically written for the game they appear in, and only one song per franchise. Otherwise, this list would be entirely Persona and Danganronpa songs. Those games having amazing soundtracks is like some sort of unwritten law of the universe. One last thing before we get started, if you like my content, consider joining my Discord server. Link will be in the description below. Enough rules and chilling, let's get started! You know, for something as bleak as the collapse of human civilization, you wouldn't think the soundtrack would be so upbeat and infectiously catchy. Er, no pun intended. But I suppose it's Rocket Cat's Apocalypse and they get to choose the playlist. The whole soundtrack to this game is incredibly good, really doing a lot with the somewhat limiting nature of the 16-bit style they were going for. Even if you never play this game, the soundtrack is 100% worth a listen. This song is such a nostalgia trip for me really puts you in the mood to set out and write history as you build up your civilization from a bunch of small settlements to a continent-spanning empire. Until Gandhi nukes you back to the Stone Age. Yeah, that's a thing that happens. Either way, out of all the songs in Civ 4, this is the one that stands out the most to me, and occasionally gets stuck in my head even though I haven't played the game in like six or seven years. You've put countless undead back in the ground using nothing but your trusty shovel and several salad bars worth of sentient plants. Don't let that weigh on your conscience. And even defeated their hyper-intelligent undead leader. In a long overdue turn of good luck, these sporting mortally challenged lads decide that all they want now is to have a kick-ass dance party to this absolute classic. I love this song so much as a kid, I tried to record it with my crappy mp3 player so I could listen to it whenever I wanted. And I would occasionally beat the game again just to hear it. How a jam like this almost makes putting up with those annoying dolphin zombies worth it. Almost. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of Lobotomy Corporation, which I'm guessing is most of you, put it simply, it's a game about using monsters to produce energy. If I go into too much more detail, we'll be here all day. As more of your clerks and agents die, the music gradually goes from blaring sirens, to a really heavy rave track, to this. By the time you hear Third Warning, all hope is basically lost. You more than likely have multiple high-level creatures strolling through your facility, treating your employees like a basket of bottomless breadsticks, and demanding to see the manager. Which, unfortunately, is you. Jokes aside, this track makes you feel like the damn apocalypse is upon you. And depending on what monsters you end up with, that very well may be the case. Ah, speaking of all hope being lost, congratulations, player! All your digital friends, and Natsuki, have died horribly, leaving you trapped in an empty classroom with their murderer. Unless you're like this poor sap, you probably deleted her. And what does this diabolical digital demoness do? She... writes you a nice song. I... I think I need a minute. In all seriousness, this song always hits me right in the feels. Monica might be known for playing piano, but damned if she's not good at tugging on the old heartstrings. Enough depressing shit, let's kick some ass! It's no exaggeration when I say I love all of the secret songs from Black Ops 1, but this one has to be my favorite. It always puts me in the perfect mood to kick some undead ass. The fact that it's kind of a secret also adds to the charm. I remember wowing some of my friends with this when it first came out. But, seeing as how this game came out several years ago, I guess it's not really a secret anymore. Either way, this track always takes me back to playing zombies with my friends at unreasonable hours of the morning. And losing our shit because one of us didn't tell the others to reload before they picked up the max ammo. Jesus dude, it's one clip. Calm the hell down. Do androids dream of electric sheep? More importantly, do cyborg engineer space monks sing electric hymns? Who cares? This song is awesome. The choir chanting contrasts nicely with the largely electronic instrumental portion, and really gives off a holy yet foreboding vibe. The perfect ambiance to raid some ancient space robot tombs, or to get absolutely destroyed by a tomb king because you didn't bring any weapons powerful enough to hurt him. This is probably the best soundtrack to any 40k game I know of. Shame Dawn of War didn't have a more memorable soundtrack, because damn would I like to talk about that game. As much as fans may debate on whether V3 was good or not, there is one thing I think most of us can agree on. This song is fucking awesome. I'm certain that I spent at least an hour of my time in this game just letting this absolute jam play whenever the Monocub showed up. Even though they're basically the poochie of this series, at least we got this song out of them. Jokes aside, the Danganronpa series has some of my all-time favorite video game songs. Chances are, if you watch some of my older videos, you may have recognized a few songs from that franchise that I used as background music. Go check out the OST sometime. 
Just be aware that some of the songs might contain spoilers. Speaking of songs I've used for my videos, and my all-time favorite video game soundtracks, Persona is a series with amazing music, but one song in particular always makes a comeback. This song is synonymous with The Velvet Room, a place between dreams and reality. Depending on which game you play, it could be an elevator, or a club, or a limo, or a prison, for some reason. This song is also known as Poem of Everyone's Souls, and I think that's almost a more fitting title. The song sounds like humanity's unconscious desire for peace and understanding made manifest in a single song. Maybe I'm being overdramatic, but I feel like there's a peaceful and emotionally poignant quality to this song that can't be overstated. RimWorld can be a difficult game. Depending on your difficulty setting, that can be a gross understatement. But once you finally finish your spaceship and set sail on the solar seas, this song is the first thing you hear. This is the only song in the game with lyrics, and it could not come at a more impactful time. After everything you've lost, all the hardships you've endured, and all the times you thought your colony was done for, you've finally made it. This song really makes you feel like you've reached the end of a long and arduous journey. One where you've no doubt made and lost good friends along the way. Who knows what awaits you out in the vast expanse of space, but hey, if you can make it on the rim, you can probably make it anywhere. Thanks for watching. I know it may be a bit different from my usual content, but I had a lot of fun writing and editing this, so I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like the content I make, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. Why don't you also leave a comment down below and tell me your favorite video game song as well. I'd love to hear your opinions. As the intro said, I have a Discord server. We're currently doing a Nitro giveaway, so come join us for a chance to win a free month of Nitro. Link is in the description below. As always, I appreciate it if you made it to the end of the video, as well as for supporting my non-VRC content. My AI Dungeon video did really well, and I could not be more grateful. Seriously, thank you so much for everything, and have a wonderful day.